Hi, why are you on Tinder? I'm just here to make new friends. I've heard that before. They buy you dinner, open your door. Other than that, what are they good for, men? Hi, everybody. It's the Gregarious Giggler. From now on, I'm not going to write about my experiences that I have with guys that I don't go out on a date with. I'm going to vlog about the experiences that I have with guys that I don't actually end up having a date with. What happened with these guys, why they don't have girlfriends, and why they are not getting a date with me, at least. I don't know about, I can't speak for other girls, but why at least they're not getting a date with me. We met on Tinder on a Sunday. As soon as we matched, I said hello, and he wrote me, and he said, Hi, I'm here for a few nights, and I was wondering if you'd like to have dinner with me tonight. And I was kind of turned off by that because, you know, right away that says pretty much that sets the tone for what he's looking for. He doesn't even want to know anything about me, not even my name or how old I am. He just jumps right into, oh, do you want to have dinner tonight? And I don't know where this guy is. I come to find out that he's a yacht captain. <laughs> And he is working in a town not too far from where I live now, but he's a bit of a distance. We decided to get on WhatsApp, and this is how the conversation on WhatsApp began. Uh, what are you looking for on Tinder, I asked, and he says, what will be, will be. Whatever will be, will be. Uh, but it's nice to meet new people. And I said, because I'm not looking for sex, I know that that's why a lot of people are on Tinder. And he says, because my, my work, because of my work, I travel a lot and I work so much that I don't have much personal time to, to go out, chat, meet people. So Tinder is good, is, is some good times. So he was, um, he told me already that he was from Brazil, so I knew that he wasn't like a native English speaker. His writing was pretty crappy in English. I'm actually paraphrasing <laughs> what he's saying. Sex is something that comes after you meet somebody you have a good connection with. So sex is not something you can look for. You can look for nice people. And if there is a feeling and sex happens, it's nice. And then he shows me where he's located on a map. He sends me his a little, um, you can send a, like a, a snapshot of, of your GPS, your location. He says, send me your location, I'll see if that's far. No, no, that's not far. Then we started talking on the phone. And he had a very nice voice, very sexy voice. And I was really impressed with his English. I said, wow, your English is excellent. And he laughed and he said, yes, it's much better than my writing. And he says, but I do have a confession to make. My mother is Irish. He was half Brazilian, half Irish. Very nice combination because he's got his father's Brazilian good looks and his mother's Irish charm. He's, you know, very charming over the phone. And right away, he reminded me so much, of, so much personality-wise of the guy that I was just crazy. About. You may or may not have read about already um his nickname was the heartbreaker and his personality was just very sexy very dynamic over the phone very charming very funny and he says why don't you come to my town tonight well i can't you know it's getting late it was already six in the evening i just actually the truth was is that i had another date lined up for the night so i couldn't really go he says, oh you know i'll take you out to dinner you can come out here i said why don't you come out here i said you're the guy oh this is so old school he says why should i come out there just because i'm the guy and i said well don't you believe in gallantry he says, well i was just gonna say if you come out here I can't really leave the boat, so I was thinking I could make you dinner and we could have a candlelit dinner by moonlight on the yacht. Love, exciting and new, come aboard, we're expecting you. I started thinking about canceling my other date and at the end of the day I just said well you know I just I don't think that's really a great idea maybe you know you can look into it and he said well I'd pay you know for you to come out here uh, sure 
okay, I'll consider it, you know, if you want to look at that and you want to pay 200 euro for a taxi, that's, that's your business, you know. He said, uh, well, maybe, you know, I'll be back on the 13th, maybe, maybe we could see each other then. I said, well, maybe, you know. Together, I said, why don't we just stay in touch until then? The next day, we talked on the phone. I said, why don't you come out here? He says, well, maybe I'll bring the yacht. Then I started to get very excited. <laughs> you want to bring the yacht? I'm not going to stop you from doing that. Kept in touch. And the next day, he sent me a message, sent me a picture of himself on the yacht. And very handsome guy, very tall, good-looking, model-like. And he's the captain of a yacht. Um, calling me gorgeous and darling in his little Irish, half-Irish accent. And then uh, calling me and sending me messages and telling me how attractive I am. And then the messages started to get heated on his end. Sort of, I left it alone. I didn't want to say anything. I didn't want to say anything, yes or no to anything. So I just left it alone. But I had already told him that I was not looking for sex. So he knew that up front. Just he says, I'm going to come to your town tomorrow. Then it turned into the day after tomorrow. And that was fine. The day before he's supposed to come, we start texting each other. And he says, I should be there in the afternoon. He tells me where they're going to dock. And I said, oh, great. I can come out there and meet you. And this is all through text at this point. So the day before, we'd been messaging each other and calling each other on the phone all day and, and sending pictures and, and being all flirty, ready to, ready to meet up and super excited, the both of us. And then... I said, well, I can come meet you. Because he had told me before that he wasn't even sure that he'd get any time off, but he would ask his, his boss if he could leave. And he says, maybe I can try and get 45 minutes off and come see you at your apartment, okay? Yeah, no, not okay. I wrote, I think it's better if I meet you at the port. And then we can go for a walk. And he writes, not for me, because my boss can't see me. No why it's an issue for his boss to see him walking around with a girl or walking around at all on his free time is really unclear to me. I don't know why that would be a problem for him. But I said, okay, well, then we can meet somewhere else, but not at my apartment. It's better if I just get my scat, which I don't know what that is. By the way, I don't know if he misspelled a word or if that's some slang word that I'm not hip to. Better if I'd just get my scat and come meet you at your apartment. Oh, okay, but why not? Meaning he had just read my message that I said, don't come to my apartment. I don't really feel comfortable with having a guy over to my place. And then this is where it all went down. And, and he says, oh my God, after all the talking, you still say this? Look, I'm not going to have sex with you. I think you're a funny person. I'd really like to meet you, but I hope you don't expect to come here. Have sex with me and then just leave because that's not how I roll with a cry laughing face. So if that's what you're expecting from me, it's better that we clear that up now. I'm happy to go have lunch with you or take you for a walk down at the beach. And he writes, well, I have a lot to do and it seems like you just want a friend. And I wrote, ha ha ha, so you just want a slut. Oh my God, really? Did you just say that? Oh my God, what a turn off. Well, if you're coming here just to have sex, then what am I supposed to assume? Like I said, I really like talking to you and I would like to go out, but that doesn't mean I'm gonna have sex with a stranger. Never heard from him again. I never heard from him again. I hope I never do. He's a loser, and so many of them are. But what I find hilarious about this is that I'm too busy to meet with you if you just want to go for a walk, but I'm not too busy to come over to your apartment, screw you, and then leave. No, no, screw you. I don't have time in my life to waste with somebody who all they want to do is mess around. He's 29. He's a yacht captain. Seriously, get your shit together. You are still acting like some 
preteen who can't keep it in his pants. And this is why you don't have a girlfriend and why as a result I still don't have a boyfriend. Bye everybody, have a great day. I'm talking about men.